my first language was Blackfoot, and my view was based on that. And I suppose there would have been no uh, other perspective if it wasn't for me going to school. Then all of a sudden, I started realizing that, uh, yeah, there's there's two worldviews, and the one that I'm most familiar with and comfortable with the one that uh, I was brought up with. A linear thinking uh, society, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just that it's so different, you know, from how we view the world and how everything is interconnected, you know, that we can't say that uh, this is uh, politics, this is economics, and this is spiritual, when everything is part of that whole. And maybe Someday you'll, those social scientists will come to realize that that's the way the world works. How we view the land is, is uh, so different. Not just the land, but um, these plants that, that, that we're sitting around. And I guess when you're intimately involved with them, they speak to you. And the more we move away from that, we lose that ability to. You know, and, and that's for our survival. That's for our survival. And you can see where manifest destiny and our view, our worldview had clashes. You know, I guess the young, for those of us in my, uh, in my age group, uh, there's a number of us whose first language was Blackfoot and now speak uh, English. So that's the challenge uh, for me. And again, if I'm going to learn those songs and all of those other things, then I have to really pay attention to what people are saying. But that's also true in any situation, it's not just traditionally. Oh, they matter a lot. Uh, in, in, in our beliefs, our, our ancestors are part of the earth. We call upon them. I, I am of the belief that they need to hear those songs. They need to hear the language. Because sometimes they'll a messenger will come to bring a message and it'll be in Blackfoot and you better be able to understand you know, that, that spiritual world.